Hello and welcome to Still Behind the Bench. My name is Adam and on this channel I hope to describe the science behind distilling in a more technical way. Hopefully it'll whet your appetite to learn more and teach you enough so that you'll be more self-sufficient. So on this video I'm going to be talking about specific gravity. Let's get started. Before I go any further I should mention that in the previous video on hydrometers I've got to explicitly state that Generally speaking, when you mix a higher density compound with water and dissolve it, the solution's density will increase. And then vice versa, when you mix a lower density compound with water and dissolve it, that solution's density will be lower. Add sugar, density goes up. Add ethanol, density goes down. Specific gravity is pretty simple. It's the ratio of a density of a measured liquid to the density of a reference liquid. In our case, the reference liquid is typically pure water at some stated temperature that your measurement tool is calibrated for. Typically, we measure specific gravity with our hydrometers, although technically you can use other tools, refractometers, pinkometers, and uh, digital meters, like what the company Anton Parr sells. We typically refer to specific gravity in points, since it's a unitless measurement, starting at 1.000 with zero points. Each increment of 0 0.001 is one gravity point. Sometimes you'll hear people stating something like 1050 or 1073, they're essentially just stating 1.050 or 1.073 in a different way. I myself don't use that way. I say one point whatever. If you take specific gravity measurements of your ferment on a regular basis, you'll see the specific gravity start to drop. We know from the hydrometer video, this means either or both a more dense substance is being removed and or a less dense substance is being added. So the sugars you added are being assimilated or fermented by the yeast and at the same time the yeast is releasing ethanol which is less dense causing it to drop. So what else can we learn about specific gravity? Well we can learn how to sum it together. Let's go to the bench to see how. So here we are at the bench. If you're adding a dry ingredient directly into your mash or wash and you know how many gravity points your ingredient is going to add when mixed into that volume of water, you can just add it on to what the specific gravity already is. Say you have 19 liters of wash with a current specific gravity of 1.050 and you want to add 2 kilograms of sugar to it. Well, you can think of it like this. For every 100 grams per liter of sugar, you have roughly 38 gravity points. So you can do some simple math. 38 times 20, because there are 2,100 gram units in two kilograms, divided by 19 liters and that gives you 40 gravity points. You then add that to your already known starting gravity and you get 1.090. Easy. Now let's do this in Imperial. Let's say you have five gallons and it's at 1.050 and you have four pounds of sugar you want to add. Think of it like this. For every one pound per gallon of sugar, you get 46 gravity points. So you take 46 times it by 4 pounds, 
and then divide that by five gallons. You get 37 gravity points. Add that to the original, 0 0.050, and you get a total of 1.087. Easy peasy. However, if you want to mix two volumes of liquids together, things get a bit more difficult. For instance, say you wanted to mix a grain mash and a sugar wash together, or you made a masher wash and the gravity is too high and you want to dilute it. What will be the gravity of the sugar mash wash mixture? Or how much water do you need to add to dilute to get a certain specific gravity? Well, the formula you want to use is the following. Specific gravity of the first liquid times the volume of that first liquid plus specific gravity of the second liquid plus, oh, times the volume of that second liquid all divided by the first volume plus the second volume. Now if you have more liquids you can just add SG3 times V3 and then include V3 here and just keep going. So let's use an example. Let's say we have a 10 liter wash that's at 1.060 times 10 liters and then we're going to add 1.046 sugar wash but it's only 9 liters divided by 10 liters plus 9 liters And we get 1.053 at 19 liters. Pretty easy math. Now, if you have trouble doing math like this, you can go over to Wolfram Alpha and type this in, except, you know, uh, you'll want to do divided by. 10 liters plus 9 liters. Write it in like that. Let's go on to the dilution portion. Let's say you have a wash that is at 1.150 and you have 10 liters of it. And you want to dilute it down and you have your tap water. We don't know how much to add. And you want to get down to a specific gravity of 1.073. So this is essentially how you would type it into Wolfram Alpha. And it would come back with an answer. X, and I won't. Sometimes it'll just give you an approximate answer, but it, in this case, it says X equals, and I believe it was 11.354 liters. So you'd add 11.354 liters of your tap water, which has this specific gravity, to your 10 liters, and you would get a final gravity or a final starting gravity of. 1.073. It's really that easy. And that's specific gravity. Please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And have a great week.